everybody, this is Chris from Cell Harmony. Thank you for joining me. In today's video, I'm going to show you one of the easiest way to make paper flowers and very few materials needed. This can be for beginners or even for people that already know how to make very nice paper flowers using very complicated dyes, but we're going to make this in a very, very simple way and with not a, lot, a whole bunch of things. So here are some examples. I've got a big one here. I've got a smaller one here just using one-sided pattern paper. And it's not a heavy paper that I used here because if you want to mail this, it can go really flat. It's got a lot of dimension to it, but if you want to make it flat, you can. The only thing that's going to be a bit bumpy is here, the center, because I've put a uh, half back pearl here. But otherwise it's going to be really flat. And it's another example here using just two colors and also in the middle I've used some sequins to change a little bit and not only using the same things. And here I've used three pearls. So as embellishments to put in the center, use whatever you have. I'm going to be using some beads for my example. You can use stickers, you could use uh, other pieces of paper, whatever you have on hand. So for these examples, you will just need so some paper, and it doesn't have again to be a heavy uh, cardstock paper. Just use your scraps, and maybe different sizes. If you want to do the middle, you'll need a smaller punch. So of course you will need some uh, hole punches here, like this one. Whatever brand you want to use, whatever size you want to use. If you want embellishment a little better, you might want to use some inks. Again, whatever brand you have. Hot glue gun I'm going to use because it dries really quick. You could use white glue for this. And well, that's it. So let's get started. I've already um, punched out some paper here and I'm going to start with the purple one because I like purple. So um, one more thing. Here I've used, let's say, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. With the backing here, that makes ten pieces. 10 pieces here, I've used three, three, eight pieces, nine with the backing. And here I've used, I think a little less, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I've used nine pieces, so, and here's seven. So whatever, you know, it's gonna have a little different look if you put more or less petals, but give it a try, see what you like best. Obviously, I think maybe the bigger it's gonna be, uh, the more petals you will need, but give it a try, it's your taste. So I'm going to leave one of these uh, circles on the side because that's going to be my back. For all the others, I'm going to fold them in half like this. Very simple. You don't have to measure anything. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to fold them all. That's quickly done. I could have done this ahead of a time before. I'll probably pause this for my other examples because you know what folding is. Okay, so now this is fold. I'm going to put this um, circle here and I should have maybe used another color because on what you're not going to see much. So let me take this paper here. Okay, so I'm going to put this on the other side because I think it's going to be nicer than just having something white depending on where you want to put it. And I'm going to use my hot glue again. So let me bring it here. And now what is important when you're going to put your petals here is to put them all in the same direction. I'm going to do a little close up. So what I mean by this is you need to put them all in one direction, whatever it is, but not one like this and one like this, for example. Okay, they need to be all the way around the same direction. So I usually put them this way. So I'm not going to be confused and I know that I'm going to put my dab of glue just here. Then what you need to do is kind of eyeball the center of your circle and you can make a little point there. And you're going to put your petals like this. So let me bring it here. I'm going to put just a little dab of glue and put it right onto my circle. You might want to use low temperature for this if your paper is really not thick. And I'm going to do this for all my circles or half circles that I hear. And you kind of want to put it inside the previous one. And I really eyeball them to make it kind of straight to leave the safe space between all my petals. 
that's the way I like to craft. I don't like to measure unless I really have to. I like to make things just the easiest way it can be. If you feel comfortable by measuring, that's totally up to you. I There's no right or wrong exactly here. Let me put it back. Don't worry about the strings. A little dab of glue. Up another piece here. And I don't really know how much I'm putting. I think I'm going to put like nine again. I think I've cut ten pieces here. And there you go. Your flower here is almost done. Now this is, we're going to do for the first example a one layer here. So I am going to use these little beads that I have. I have a ton of beads and I never know how I'm going to use them. I've been given a lot of beads so thank you all my friends who have beads, don't use them and think about me. So I'm going to put a big blob of glue here. Let me do a little close up, sorry if I'm going too fast. And a big blob of glue and I'm just going to sprinkle Oops. let me do that a little better and I'm going to put them like this and just leave it to dry it's not going to take a long time Take the excess off. And it's something really different every time. If you change the centers, let me take all these beads away. I'll take care of them later on. And there you have it. And normally when this is dry, what, I, what you would do is come back here with each petal and bend it a little bit. I don't have to push hard here. I'm pressing too hard in the middle. I like to have a little bit of volume. And just press your petals to put them in shape and give them even more volume. You could use this also as a tag if you wanted to put this, for example, on a, um, f on a present. And you could maybe write the name of the person or just write your name. And that's the first flower. Very easily done in minutes. No fuss, no mess. If you want to cur uh, cut your um, round circles by hand, you can do that as well. It's not that complicated to cut a circle. It won't be maybe as perfect, but you don't need to have it perfect. And that's one way. So I'm going to use this one as for my other example and maybe try to take this away if I can. No, I can't, but that's fine. So for this example, I'm going to do the second layer, which is exactly the same. So I'm going to fold these pieces, and I think these two colors are going to go, going to look just great. Um, I'm going to fold these pieces, and you don't have to put the half. You know, if you put, for example, eight pieces, put four inside. There's, I don't really measure again. Let's say that I don't have my pearl in the center. And I'm just going to do this this way. You know what? I'm going to pause this and make it a real one with another one. Hold on a second. Okay, so I've got another flower here that I just made and I want to embellish it and make it a little more fluffy. So I'm going to use just a second layer. And for this example, I am just going to use a different paper. You could obviously use the same paper, the same colors. But because I had pink in this paper, I just felt like I wanted to use a little bit more pink to make it pop out a little bit. So that's what I'm using here. And I'm just using several of these. Again, I don't you don't have to put the same number and normally yeah, I've got some more. Hold on, there should be somewhere. Oh, there they are. Just in front of my nose. And Think that's going to be good. I need to put this one in here inside. Okay, and now I am going to embellish it again 
and let me see does this no this is a bit too big so I might use maybe some of these pearls here because I really like the look of them and yeah I think I kind of like it this way maybe I should use a, a lid larger one Oh, I've got this one. I really like too. I've got all kinds of, pur of pearls and beads. And this one is flat back. Whoops. And yes, I think this one's going to really be nice. So I'm going to put some hot glue here. Put this one here in the center. I think I want a bit overboard. I'm taking a little bit off. And now I am going to open it again. So simple, so lovely. And do the same thing with the little ones inside. And I don't mind if it's if the white shows because I think it gives a little even more dimension to it and there you go a lovely little flower made in seconds and you can do these in any size you want even bigger if you want to cut them out if you have a Cricut machine or anything like that so that was one of the easiest way I found to make some paper flowers with very few materials if you're start starting in scrapbooking or in card making that's going to be just for you. So please tell me which one you like. If you have other ideas about making flowers an easy way, leave me your comments. I always get back to you. And please subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to give me some thumbs up and share. Sharing is caring. See you soon for other videos. Take care. Bye-bye.